What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Chef Me TV. Today, breakfast. Today I'm making a French toast casserole, but we're taking it up a level. Banana Foster French toast casserole. Baked in the oven, crust on top, that Banana Foster glaze, glazed over the top. This is something that you're gonna stay tuned for. So first and foremost, you wanna preheat your oven to 350 degrees. After that, you wanna start assembling everything. So first, I've got the bread. You don't want to cut it too thin and you don't want to cut it too thick. So about half an inch thick. All right. Then from there, you just cut it in thirds. So one, two, and then cut that in half. All right, you wanna make sure also that each piece is close to being similar to the next piece. You don't want one too small, one too big. Make sure you put the pieces that are already cut in the side bowl so they don't get in the way of what you're doing. All right, all my pieces are assembled. Go ahead and spray the dish down with either butter, oil, you know, cooking spray, anything that will cause it not to stick. I'm gonna move it around. Make sure you get every crevice Also, just dab away the excess oil. You don't want too much moisture down there. From there, go ahead and take your cut up bread, put it straight in there. Put that to the side. Now, time to make the custard. We've got four whole eggs. You want to also make sure that you don't get any eggshells in the mixture. There I have an eggshell. You wanna make sure you get that out. You just take your finger and just slide it right on out. Half and half. Just a little bit, just enough to coat the bottom. And then the secret ingredient, banana milk. All this is is bananas, water, and almonds. All that's gonna just bring out the banana flavoring even more, all right? Vanilla extract. I fairly like a lot of vanilla in my breakfast dishes, so. Just a little bit of cinnamon. Brown sugar. All right, so this is nutmeg. Like I always say, fresh is always best. Just break that in there. Doesn't take a lot of this either because it's very strong. All right, just a little bit of salt, a little sprinkle. You don't want it to be too salty. All right. So just beat the egg yolks and then mix. Just mix until fully incorporated. Egg mixture is done. Just pour the mixture right over the bread. It's kind of hard to get all this bread coated evenly in a small pan, so I'm just gonna take all the bread pieces and just submerge it in the mixture. Now I can easily toss it. Make sure every piece is coated. Also, you don't want the bread to become too soggy. So you just want to toss it maybe two, three or four times. So take all that bread and put it back in the pan. All right, just take a little bit of that goodness and pour that right over. You don't want too much mixture, you don't want too little mixture. So you want it to be about a fourth of the way from the bottom to the top. So now 
It's time to let this thing sit, soak up all them juices. About 10 to 15 minutes in here. All right, guys, so the casserole is resting. Now it's time to make the bread crumb mixture for the top of it. All right, so first, two tablespoons of flour, teaspoon of cinnamon, three tablespoons of brown sugar. It's about a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Matter of fact, make that two teaspoons. Now the butter, the butter has to be softened. So make sure that you leave your butter out for about 20 minutes before you do this. All right. And just mix that. Now you wanna make sure you press the butter into the mixture so it all of it combines and becomes one. All right, add a little bit of salt. Just a little bit. Mix that. Keep pressing that butter. Press and turn the bowl too, so you can get every nook and crevice of the bowl. Make sure everything is fully combined. And really, you can just eyeball the mixture and tell if it's enough or not. I don't think that's enough brown sugar, so I'm just gonna add just a little bit more. All right, continue to mix. Now, if you're very health conscious, you can determine whether you should add more or less of the sugar. Salt, butter, see how my mixture is now like crumbs, bread crumbs. All right, that's ready. So, it's been about 15 minutes. Really, it's been about 20, but hey, the longer the better. Take that crumb mixture and just sprinkle that over the top. Make sure you evenly distribute it. All right, now time for the oven. You're gonna make sure your oven is at 350. It should already be preheated and hot and ready to go. So 35 to 40 minutes in here on 350. Now we just sit back and wait for the magic to happen. The French toast casserole is done. About to sit and rest. Time for the, the fun part. So for the banana, you don't want the banana to be too ripe or too unripe, but it still needs to be firm. Otherwise it'll break apart. You wanna make sure you cut it into thick slices and then take your time with this too. Precision more important than speed. The more precise you are, the better the end product will be. Butter. A good amount of butter. You want to make sure you hear that sizzle. All right, so my butter is melted. So now in with the brown sugar, you can use regular sugar sugar as well, it doesn't matter. And what you wanna do now is just let that turn to a caramel. Turn the heat up just a little bit to medium heat. And then from there, go in with a little bit of vanilla extract. It's enough to coat the bottom of the pan. See now the brown sugar just starting to melt and turn to a sauce. That's what you want. Still keep it on medium heat. And with the bananas. And just use a spoon and just to flip it over. With the cinnamon. So I've got some rum. You never want to just pour it straight into the pan. You want to put it on the side first in the bowl. All right, now the banana liquor, that's just going to add just a little bit of extra banana flavor. Just a little bit. Keep this on a low to medium heat. All right, you just want to go straight in. 
lighter. So I'm just gonna light the end of this. All right, make sure you stand up. Unless you wanna use your eyebrows. Let that sit on a low temperature. And just let the sauce create and form. Fabulous. All right. So now just take your bananas, beautifully glaze, and we'll just sit that right on top. Good thing about this sauce, it's very flavorful and you don't need maple syrup. This is your syrup. So just take that and glaze it right over the top. Mm. Take just a little bit of salt going around the top of it. Just a little bit, not too much. All right, guys, so it's time to taste, and I'm ready to taste. So, a little bit of banana, a little bit of bread. on the outside, bananas are caramelized. All the flavor is just, it's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. This thing is crazy. This is something you definitely wanna make, you make for a loved one, Mother's Day, Father's Day, you know, Saturday morning, you get up late, brunch type thing. This thing is absolutely amazing. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe if you're new. Um, leave a like on this video if you liked it. I'll catch you guys next time on another episode of Jeffrey TV.